Welcome to True Barbecue TV. In this episode, I'm going to be showing you how to make your own sweet and spicy barbecue sauce, so stay tuned. Have you ever wondered how to make your own barbecue sauce? Well, I'm about to show you. Fairly simple. There's three main parts to it. We are gonna have our wet ingredients, our dry spices, and then our other. First, I'm gonna show you how to put together the wet ingredients. We're gonna have a large bowl, and we're gonna start with one cup ketchup. All right. Then we're gonna go half a cup of apple cider vinegar. Half cup of sugar. Half cup of brown sugar. Plop. We're gonna have a quarter cup of yellow mustard. Tablespoon of A1 steak sauce. Tablespoon of Worcestershire sauce. That's a mouthful. All right, and we're gonna have lemon juice from half a lemon. This recipe will yield about two to two and a half cups. So adjust accordingly if you wanna make more or less. Remember to not let the seeds fall in like that just happened. I remember my first time making barbecue sauce, right? Okay. Once we have our wet ingredients put together in a bowl, let's put that to the side and let's take a shot. No, just not right now. Let's put together the dried ingredients. So right here, we have uh, two tablespoons of, no, I'm sorry, two teaspoons of table salt, half teaspoon of freshly ground black pepper, and a quarter teaspoon of cayenne powder. Again, if you want it more spicy than sweet, add a little bit more cayenne. Otherwise, stick with a quarter teaspoon and um, adjust accordingly from there if it's too spicy or not as spicy. Um, if you don't want spicy at all, then don't add it. This is your barbecue sauce. Make it how you want it. And I forgot a little fellow over here. A tablespoon of chili powder. All right, now we got our dry spices and we got our wet ingredients. Now we want a, about a quarter cup of sweet onion, chopped very fine. Um, comes out to about a quarter of an onion. So, and two cloves of garlic. So I'm gonna go ahead and chop these up and we're gonna continue on. We add about a tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil into the saucepan. Let it heat up or low medium heat. Once the oil is up to temperature, we're gonna add in those diced onions that we chopped a little earlier. Saute them for a few minutes. Yeah, it smells good. It smells like onions in here. I'm gonna do this for a few minutes and then we're gonna add in the garlic. After a few minutes, the onions will be translucent and then it's time to throw in the garlic. Now with the garlic, you want to be careful to not burn it. So keep a close eye on it. Um, stay over it, stir, lift it off the heat if you need to. And we're only gonna let this cook for about one minute and then we're gonna add in the dry spices. After a minute of stirring in the dry spices with the onions and garlic, it's time to throw in the wet ingredients. Make sure you get it all. Leave no man behind. Okay. 
All right, now we're going to simmer for about 20 to 25 minutes, stirring occasionally, no lid on this. This is gonna really reduce a little bit and meld all the ingredients all up in together. They're gonna marry, have babies, do all sorts of crazy stuff, and it's gonna end up tasting real good barbecue sauce. Finger licking, lip smacking barbecue sauce right here. That's what that's what we're going for, right? And the great thing about this is this is a, a base barbecue sauce, and you know, if you want to add some hot sauce, add some hot sauce, or if you want to add, uh, you know, some ginger, add some ginger. You know, make it your own. Yeah? And then when people say, "Hey, man, where'd you get this barbecue sauce?" you be like, "I made it." And like, what? You made the barbecue sauce? And you're like, "Yeah, I made the barbecue sauce." I don't, even, I don't know if that's how you talk or whatever, but. Okay, so it's been about 25 minutes now, and we just pulled it off the burner. It's nice and thick and juicy. Let's give it a little taste to see if it came out all right. That's a nice. <laughs> all right, after you're done simmering it, we're gonna pour it into a clean jar. And uh, it's really hot right now, so we're gonna pour it in here. Let it sit on the countertop for a couple hours until it's cool to touch. And then uh, we're gonna go ahead and throw it in the fridge and it'll keep for three or four months. If you know how to can, uh, you can go ahead and do that. And then it'll keep for a year or two. Um, that's a whole nother video in itself. So in the meantime, just throw it in the fridge and uh, it'll be good to go. I'm sure it'll probably be gone a lot sooner than that. So, all right, well, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you try out the recipe, recipe, please let me know how you like it. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching.